Hi Yoshi fans, this is Hooray for Yoshi and Square Yoshi. Square Yoshi. And we're here to open a bunch of amiibos because we took some time off for holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And what's today? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! It's January 1st, 2020, and we have about seven amiibos we have to open up before we get to next week's. And we still have to do our short initial review of Pokemon for you, but we'll get to that later this week. So, we have seven amiibos. Let's just go ahead and get started. And, um, Square Yoshi, will you grab one for me? What does it say his name is? Simon! Simon! So this is Simon. He is from, and we'll show close-up pictures later, but he is from Smash Brothers, and they brought him in to Smash Brothers from the Castlevania series. We have Richter coming in later next week. We're gonna open this up real careful. I like to keep the cards. All righty. All right, be careful with the knife. Okay, table's falling on me. That's okay, I'll just move this. Let's get him out of there. And then when you when we get it out, you can show it to him real close. Okay, so Simon. He's really cool. I like the detail of the fur lining on his feathers and on his vest. And his chain, it's really, it looks really cool. Like it's really free, free flowing. Looks like they attach it to his wrist to add for some stability, which is pretty cool. What's your favorite thing? You wanna look at him for a second? Uh, the spiky part and the chain. You like the chain? Yeah. And the and spiky, the, and the little the mace ball at the end? The, spi the spike ball connects to the chain. It connects to the chain? Do you want to show them real close? Oops, you dropped it. It's okay. Here, here's the little. Gotta get it closer to the camera. Here's the little spiky ball, and here's the chain. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and and he has a little holding thing so he can hold it. Yep, he's got a handle so he can hold it. Should we leave him here? We can leave him right here. All right, can you give me the next one? Can you say his name? It's tough. You can't? It's Incineroar. Can you say that? Incineroar. Incineroar. And he is from Pokemon. And he is also, but he, this is a Smash Brothers amiibo. So it's one of the Pokemon that they added to Smash Brothers. Getting the hang of this a little at a time. Put that down. Let's get him out of there. Let's get him out of there. Now I think after they did How Lucha, the Pokemon, who's flying and fighting. This is another one. He's kind of like a wrestler. He just doesn't look like he has a mask like How Lucha does, but kind of reminds me of another luchador, just like a big wrestler guy, real strong. Mm -hmm. And I like that there's a different finish to the belt, his belt that's on fire, um, than there is to the rest of his body. What do you think? I like his stripe and the belt, the fire belt. You like his stripes and the fire belt? Mm -hmm. and it looks nice because it looks like they did some, some decent texture yeah, for his and, fur. And, and the Shoulder and the tail. I'm going to sh show you the tail real close. That's too close. Back it up right there. <laughs> I 
So that's Incineroar. All right, thanks. Can you get us the next one? Let's do this one. It's our next Smash Brothers one. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Pardon me. This one is, can you say his name? Um, Charlotte? This one, this CH makes a K sound. Karam? Krom. His name is Krom. He's actually the second Krom amiibo, but this is the first one he's had as for Smash Brothers, because the other one was released for a 3DS Fire Emblem game. We'll do another video once I get the last couple of missing amiibos, and I'll show you all the amiibos we have. You probably see a bunch of them up here behind us. Krom. Let's take a look at Krom. And you can see the, a, li a little bit in the left. Yep, you can see a little bit on the left. Well, they put a lot of detail. It's like leather stitching look onto his sheath which looks really cool and I like the way that they, they did his cape so it looks like it's flying in the wind and it's pretty hard molded so it doesn't feel like it's going to bend as much like the other one did. The only thing that has a danger of bending is his sword and it looks pretty good. They did pretty good detail work on his tattoo and the little gold gold markings on his uniform and they have a lot of detail into his hair which looks really nice. Um, I like it because it has blue on the inside and gray on the outside of his cape. Wow. And I like this color stripe on his sword right here. You like the gold stripe on his sword? Mm -hmm. Do you want to show him the sword? A little bit over to your right. Yeah, right there. All right, so that's Krom. Do you want to put Krom down? Okay, there's Krom. Let's put some of these guys away. Actually, let's put these down here. Put these over here, because I'll keep these. All right, can you give us the next single one, the one that's only by itself? Yep, that one. It's gold. It is gold. Let's see if we can grab this. The, is, this is the only gold one. So look, this is Shovel Knight. So here's the, the regular Shovel Knight, and here is a gold Shovel Knight. We'll, we'll put it here so you can still see it. It was like a limited release. We were lucky enough to catch it when we could pre-order it from, we got ours from Best Buy. Takes us a minute to open this. Sorry, everybody. Who are, who are watching. Yep, everybody who's watching. There we go. We'll hold on to that. I'm going to close this because I'm thinking I'm going to poke myself with it. Do you want to open it? Yeah, you can open that one. It's pretty cool because it's gold, huh? So we'll put this down here. There you go. We'll, we'll put these two together so you can see the difference. Yeah, there's two of them. We'll turn them a little bit. So you can see the difference. Yeah, it lo really just looks like they have a gold painted version of the original one. Has the same details, same, same stance. They put everything gold on here except the face. You have everything gold but the face. On, so the, do you wanna, on the new one. Yeah, can you show him that gold one? I'm going to get the, the old crown one so we can compare him. You want to show him the gold one? What's your favorite part of the gold guy? Um, of the gold shovel knight? Um, everything but up his face and this part of his shovel.
It looks like the Fire Emblem Amiibo for Chrome, while the model's a little bit, like his cape is a little bit smaller, and there's less detail in some parts. There's other parts, like his armor on his shoulder has a lot more detail, and it looks like his sword has some more detail than the other one. I'll, I'll put up a picture so you can see the comparison. Yeah, and these two, the gold one and yeah. the... And so they can see the two of these. All right, let's move these to the side for now. Since those are just our new, not our new ones, but our comparisons. And what's this one? Um, it has three. This is three. This is yeah. the. Sh these, these are one of these. Yeah, they're for Shovel Knight. They're for the Shovel Knight game for the Treasure Trove and Shovel this Knight the, game. This one, this one, and the right is the king of these. Yep, he's the king. He's the king knight. So this one contains the Spectre Knight, the Plague Knight, and the King Knight. And these all go along with uh, with the same release as the Golden Shovel Knight. Yeah, in the regular. Should we open up all three of them? Because we can't yeah. open only one, right? Not one I can touch. Oops. Can you go pick him up? Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, I'll just put him there. I think I pushed him. You gotta get it in there. Come on. I'm trying. There we go. Sometimes it takes work. To yep. Do. Sometimes it does take a little bit of work to do it right. And we're trying to make sure that we cut it pretty close so we can keep the cards. I keep the cheap knight. You can get them all out if you want. So we'll just look at them one at a time, though. Yeah. We can, because we don't have three hands. We don't have three hands, so we'll, we'll do one at a time. So we'll put this card aside. It's a nice big one. This just shows all the characters in one. Okay, will you pull one out for us? You want to look at the King Knight first? Mm -hmm. All right, King Knight. Very bright yellow. It would be nice if they had used some of the gold paint on him, but he probably doesn't look gold in the game, so they probably tried to make him... I think he looks very yellow in the game. He's got very poofy shoulder sleeves. Look at that, very poofy. It goes all the way to the floor. They did a pretty good job making it look like it was kind of ruffled, like the cape is longer than he is tall. Uh, I'd say the rocks, the feathers look more kind of rocky than feathery, but overall he, he looks pretty good. Do you want to show him, him? And I'll hold this. See the, all the bright yellow? Put it up a little higher. There you go. See all the bright yellow? Yeah, he's so bright yellow, huh? Yeah. Let's put him right there. Yep, we're doing, we'll look at the next one. You want to pick the next one? Okay, so that's the Spectre Knight. Do you know what a Spectre is? No. Can you say Spectre Knight? Spectre Knight. So a Spectre is like a ghost. So he's like a ghost knight. Oh, he looks really cool. Like, even though it's still pretty simple design, the lines are pretty, pretty clean. There's not a lot of, like, tiny detail in it. But he looks pretty cool, like... Even though the colors are smooth, there's not a lot of shading. It looks pretty simple, kind of like the King Knight does. I think just because of his coloring, it I, th I just maybe don't love the yellow of the King Knight. But the Spectre Knight, his scythe looks really cool. He's got it holding him, holding him behind here. And it's going, the, the shaft from the scythe goes all the way down here. 
I like the red and like look made the, made his cape look a little tattered. I like the holes in this cape and this and this part of his weapon. That's called yeah. a scythe. Yeah, in his boot, in his boots, they looked a lot cool. They look pretty cool. His boots. Mhm. Mm Can you guys show him what you what you think of him? I'm gonna show the holes first in the tape. Yep, there's the holes. It made it, like I said, it made it kind of look tattered. Make yeah. it look like it's old. And here's the black and the... Uh, Scooch it over so they can see the side. Here, here's the black and the red. Scoop it up higher. Here's the red. A little bit further in. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Yeah, and this part of his boot, they... They did like a cool thing. Just I don't like think they can see it, Sudi. Um, I like it because they they do high, low, medium, high. Yeah, you see that. So for his boots. Yeah. Okay, one more. And then when we're done, I want you to talk, think about your favorite one of the seven that we opened today. Okay. This is the plague night. Do you know what a plague is? Mm -hmm. It means like a sickness that goes and gets a lot of people sick. And so it looks like he's got a staff, like a magic staff with like a little bird head on it. It looks like he's holding some kind of potion or a drink. <laughs> it makes you thirsty. Do you want a drink? Mmm, yum. But he looks pretty cool. It looks like one of like the medieval like doctor masks. Um, but it's all green to make you think more of like sick than healing. And he looks like he's got a little pouch right here. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Same kind of simple, clean lines. Like good, good design. Uh, I like this part and and this this part of. You like his staff the, with the bird head. Yeah, and the face looks very cool. The face does look very cool. Each of these on their pedestal, on their NFC chip pedestal, has just a little a little shovel knight symbol in like a metallic purple on the bottom. It looks a little brighter purple than the one on the original shovel knight. But they all look pretty good. Which one's your favorite, Square Yoshi? Um, the gold and the bright yellow. So you like the the golden shovel knight and the king knight? What which of me did you like? Yeah, which ones are your favorites? Mm, let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, let us know in the comments. My favorite is Crom because I really like Fire Emblem and Smash Brothers. And I have I you can see them, I got a bunch of Fire Emblem amiibos up there. But yeah, so these are our newest amiibos and they're they're a originals if we had another one of them so thanks for watching we'll we'll see you again soon thanks for being patient with us taking a holiday break for our videos thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and watch more of our videos and tell us what you would like us to see in other videos Thanks for watching. This is Hooray for Yoshi and Spray Yoshi signing off. Have a good day. Please subscribe and please watch more videos and hit the like button. Bye.